by this time if you use the blackmagic camera app the final cut camera app and maybe the filmic pro camera app of filming your videos using the iphone then i want you to stick around hi guys and welcome to the extra edit channel so i've been filming most videos on this channel using this smartphone here this is my iphone 12 pro now when you are transferring video files from these apps as for me i transfer those video files using itunes but it hasn't been the easiest or smoothest experience what i want to show you is this so this is my itunes they're telling me to update my ios to ios 18 i'll just cancel that when you click on this little icon of the smartphone and you come to file sharing this is where you see all the apps through which you can move your data from your phone to your computer or to your mac pc i don't know if mac people also use <laughs> itunes i think they use airdrop right you guys just drop files from your phone for me in my case as a windows user when i click on the blackmagic camera app here i have three folders so i have the lat folder the media folder and the presets folder my biggest problem here is when i want to transfer my video files from this media folder if you double clicked on this folder to open it up you only have one option to rename the file sorry to rename the folder and that is not what i intend to do what i want to do is to save the video files that are in this folder move them from the phone to my pc and i have to click here save so when i click save of course i'm going to be prompted to where i want to save my video files but the problem with that is the blockmagic camera app and its media folder together with itunes don't give you the option of opening up the media folder so you can see the individual files that are in there for you to select only the videos that you need let's move to the final cut camera app and we see what's there on the final cut camera app you only have one folder which is the dcim i don't know what dcim means <laughs> If you guys know what DCIM stands for, let me know in the comment section. <laughs> I don't want to look it up on Google. So the Final Cut camera up here does the same thing. It does not allow you to open up this folder and view the individual video files that are in there for you to save them. You might think, oh yeah, just click save and save the video folder. Look at this from this, from this point of view. How about if that folder contained the video files that amounted to about 50 gigs? and I do not need all the 50 gigs. I just need a few videos from the 50 gigs that are in that entire folder for me to use. So what it means, I have to save the entire folder, which I believe takes a lot of time. <laughs> it's just not well designed. One day I shot one video using the Final Cut camera app. It was a one take. I think I recorded for about two hours and 10 minutes. When I came and connected the phone to the PC through iTunes, I had over 20 gigs of data in the DCIM folder. You know when you come with a lot of gas and excitement and you want to you know, start editing right away? I had to take a step back and chill. I clicked save and decided to just go and make a cup of tea. I even watched a movie on Netflix. This thing was still saving the videos. <laughs> I know some of you are saying, just buy a newer phone. Personally for me, this has been a bummer with the Final Cut camera app and the Blackmagic camera app. On the other hand, I have another app called the Pro Movie Camera app. This app here is what I have resorted to these days for filming videos whenever I'm using my smartphone. And the reason is very simple. It's because when I come into iTunes, this app does not show you folders. It just shows you video files. Well arranged in the order in which they were shot, giving you the date the time, the file size, all the metadata that you need to know about each individual video file. So I can choose to save just one file. For example, if I wanted to save this file here, I can just click on that and click save and I get to save that file. But on the Blackmagic camera app and the Final Cut camera app, I have to save the entire folder. So this is why I'm resorting to using the Pro Movie camera app for filming most of my videos these days this app allows you to shoot up to 240 frames per second and it also allows you to change the bitrate of your videos for example i can shoot a video at 1080p but bump up the bitrate so that i have better quality of course the downside with that is larger file sizes for me i find this app very useful i feel like it gives me a little bit more 
you'll think, oh yeah, you're missing out on log, you're missing out on ProRes 422, 10-bit, whatever. At the end of the day, when you're posting those videos on social media, no one really cares where, whether you shot them in log, whether you shot them in ProRes 422, 8K. No one really cares. At the end of the day, people are just watching these videos using very small screens. Screens as small as this. <laughs> That's what people use for watching your YouTube videos or watching videos online. So yeah, you guys can download the app and let me know if the app supports Apple Log ProRes 422. Maybe that would be a reason for me to upgrade. <laughs> but I don't see myself upgrading anytime soon. Anyways, that is what I wanted to talk about as a person that shoots smartphone videos. And I'm trying to always find better solutions on how I can speed up my workflow and get the most out of my smartphone. This is why I am making this video. So if you guys have better ways of transferring video files from the Blackmagic camera app and the Final Cut camera app without going through the hassle and bustle of transferring an entire media folder or a DCIM folder from the Final Cut and the Blackmagic camera app respectively, yeah, let me know what your processes are. You can leave a comment in the comment section. I really love interacting with you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I love you and I'm out of here. Peace.